I'm going to do a video here, and this video is really from my memory. I'll probably share it on YouTube so others can hopefully get some information from it. But um, it's really for me, so if you think it's a little incomplete, I'm sorry. It's kind of a personal video. Anyway, the Spec 1 gears, I went to put a Spec 1 gear set into this transmission. It had a regular two-stroke gear set, and I was having trouble getting everything to mat match into the case. And I basically had mismatched angle or pitch on some of my gears. So I thought it'd be easier to remember for me if I went through and showed what the differences are. So when we go to a Spec 1 gear set, this is really best for a two-stroke. It says two-stroke only, but it's really a two-stroke set. Um, it's going to have a little taller first gear than you would have in a standard two-stroke, but you're going to get a um, less of an overdrive. All these trannies actually are overdrive in fourth gear, so you have less of an overdrive. So that's really why I'm doing it. So if we take a look at what we have here, we have the gears. Here's our second gear. It has 30 teeth. Our fourth gear has 37. Those have to match in pitch. So I've got them set up here. Um, here's our second gear at the front of the counter. Here's our fourth gear on the front of the main shaft. And then, of course, this is our pinion front. And that is going to have 34 teeth. And these all have to match in the pitch and the angle that the teeth are cut. And that's where I was running into trouble. There's the 34 tooth front pinion. Um, is they were not, and you can see how this line kind of groups them. So that's what that's doing. Those, that pitch, the pitch on these three gears have to be the same. So if I come over here and look at, uh, this was the gear I had in there and it came in, you know, the problem is you buy, I've, I've bought probably three um, close ratio gear sets through the years and every freaking one of them has a gear or two that are wrong. So people do not know how to set up, you know, these gears. Cause what happens is this has 37 teeth and this has 37 teeth, but they're different pitch, different angles. So they won't work. So someone comes along like here, they make a spec one box. This is one that Bertil bought uh, in Sweden and said, oh, it's got the special stuff. No, whoever bought it from screwed him. The one, I've bought two sets and guys have screwed me. I think they do it out of sheer ignorance because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Excuse me, did I say fuck? <laughs> I get frustrated when I buy shit because I pay good money for this crap. And then you call the people up and they're like, oh, well, you know, I bought it and that's what the guy told me. So um, anyway, you, I don't know if you can see the angle there, but these don't match. I got to tip this gear up in order to get it to fit. If I lay it flat and try to slide it in, it's a no-go. You know, it's not going to go in there. So the pitch doesn't match. I got to tip it up in order for it to match. So that's really what we're looking at is the pitch on these gears. So we've got a 25 here in the front of the main shaft. And then you've got your 37 tooth fourth gear, a 30 tooth second, and a 34 tooth front pinion. And then the last one we have is the front counter gear. And it's a 41 and it's drawn in this box. And this was done by uh, Steve Butler. This is actually this is my photo. He did a great job. Um, and he was selling his, so he knew what he had um, and did a perfect job of explaining it and helped me because, you know, I didn't know either. I, you know, you're ignorant until you know, right? So this 41 tooth front counter, which rides right on this shaft here, it has to match into our front main shaft. And they do now. So the, the problem I was having is my 37 tooth fourth gear was a standard 37 tooth fourth gear, normal 37, but they had the wrong improper pitch. So I got that all switched around, we're good to go. So in the back half of a spec one, it's all pretty much standard equipment. So it's a normal two stroke setup. So we've got a 20 tooth for our rear idler that rides here, but it actually rides into this gear, which is the rear pinion. So we gotta match it there. And then the rear pinion reverse runs into the reverse, which is part of the third gear. And then, of course, third gear and first gear have to run together, and those pitches have to be right. So hopefully, when I put this all together now, it'll fit, and I'll have a transmission for my son at one. And there's a group of guys um, 
that race a whole bunch, uh, George and Stefan Vapa, they did a spreadsheet on all this stuff and it's really, really good. I'm going to remake it and put it on my site and use my terminology because I call gears different and it's harder for me to understand what they're calling than what I call them. It's just terminology difference. And uh, I'll put that on my website. And then I'm going to add a few things like the reverse sliding gear or the reverse idler gear. That actually is in, has to be included in these kits because if we look at a spec 2, special ratio, close ratio spec 2, it uses a 21. So that's a different gear. So here's a brand new set I bought. And, uh, you know, here's my special 21 tooth reverse idler. So you got to have all that stuff. And uh, this is a good second gear for a close ratio. But it's a used one, and you can see someone was couldn't find them, so they grind them, right? And they pretty well knocked the teeth off it, so I'll send that out and have it rebuilt, hopefully. But um, George and Stephen have developed, Stephen have developed this really good um, breakdown, and it has another section to it, which I don't have here with me, but it shows your speed per thousand RPM with, you know, a a regular sized 15 inch tire and all, all that stuff. Um, so it, it helps you at, to determine stuff there. But what I look at is the ratios. And you're just taking the gears that are being used and dividing them out to come to your ratio. So in a standard um, gear set, the, the first gear, it has a 3.48 to one ratio. The, the spec one has a 3.14, so it's a little taller. So that would be a bit of an issue for you, but you can't use a spec 2 in a group 2. And this was pointed out to me by Frederick Eckendahl. I told him I was going to put a spec 2 in my um, Sonnet 1007, and he laughed and said, my God, you're going to burn smoke all over the Black Hills with your clutch. And uh, it's because that, that ratio is so tall in first gear. And uh, you can get away with it here because if we come down to our actual final drive ratio, we're going to have a, a lower geared final drive. This is the overdrive in the uh, in the transmission um, you know this is something i didn't know for years but uh, in my world at transmission everything in in the final gear is all one to one and then you have an overdrive gear well saab was always overdrive with these old 93 96 95 sonnets everything they all had an overdrive ratio of 0.84 so when you went to your spec gears 0 0.92 0 0.92 for a close ratio group two and then I've never seen the uh, uh, group three, and uh, that's supposed to have a 0.94. So, and I'm not sure what that's specially designed for. If that's a, if that's a two-stroke on steroid rally or what that is. But the two, the spec two is definitely a two-stroke, or excuse me, the spec two is definitely a V4 gear set. We run that in our Bonneville racer, but we push it. You know, we push that car up to uh, 25 mile an hour and or never take off in first gear so it's really tall if you try to drive it away um, on its own power it's a it's a booger so anyway um you can use this to figure your ratios of where you're going to be with everything and uh, you can see in third gear the ratios here are the same and then in fourth gear we drop down to a 0.92 so that's what's going to make this spec one a really nice set for a uh, uh, Sonnet 1. I've got the replica number 007 that this transmission is going to go into and hopefully it'll run real nice. So one last look at the um, what you've got for all the gears and again that's the match set there. Second gear, fourth gear, front pinion, front main, counter shaft, outside front, and that's what that's all you need there. So all right, and that's just, I think that's just showing you that the first, the reverse third, third reverse, pinion rear, those are all the same. It's all this back half. It's all just vanilla two-stroke stuff, so nothing changed there. It's the front one, two, three, four, five pieces that we're changing, and that's what this kit is, five pieces. So again, this is a spec one gear set for a two-stroke. Hopefully this will help someone. Be sure to check out uh, George and Stefan's uh, website. They're really into the classic Saab racing. They've been doing it their entire lives. Great guys. Uh, a lot of information. Spe they're, they're quantum specialists. Let's put it that way. And then uh, uh, that's about it. I'll shut up. So hopefully this will help me get this tranny together this time. And we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.